Okay, uh, hydrogen generator part two. Uh, the first one didn't work out, so... Uh, okay, everybody, this is my new hydrogen generator installed in an Alfa Romeo 1.7 liter car with a four cylinder. And I, because I don't have any space in my uh, engine compartment, I mounted the hydrogen generator right here in the front, front of the right uh, front tire. So I'm gonna just put my hand down so you can see. Just a short look. Okay. There's the hydrogen generator. It's working right now on uh, about 10 to maybe 12 amps. It's producing pretty much, probably about a liter an hour. I'm sorry I don't have the water left in my bubbler, but you maybe notice, I can see it with my eyes, maybe on the camera it's not noticeable. But in the bubbler, you can notice the bubbles that are going up. Just on the bottom of the bubbler is some water left, so this is the only noticeable point the hydrogen generator generation. So, in case of an explosion, I got installed on my uh, air intake some, uh, I don't know the word in English, but it's gonna help out so my engine uh, the air intake manifold doesn't break in case of an explosion. As you can see, I am running on methane on uh, CNG, compressed natural gas. And these are the CNG intakes. This is the air filter here, right here. So, in the back, I mounted the hydrogen intake, which is coming right here. Okay, so now take a look when I click the hose. Okay, I'm gonna hold on like this for, for about 10 to 15 seconds. And then, I'm gonna let go, just notice this. Okay, the RPMs go up. And again. Okay, well, this is a proof that this machine is doing something with the engine, I don't know really what, but for now, I notice about 10 to 15 percent of um, mileage increase, less fuel consumption, about 10 to 15 percent. Just have a look how it's inside. I got all the wires coming right here. I gotta fix this, by the way, just just for uh, some time. You can see the ammeter, which I mounted right next to my steering wheel, so. It's running in about maybe less than 20 than 10 amps, maybe about 10 to 15. I'm not really sure what's because the indicator is not uh, so uh, exact. Anyway, so I got here a switch which is telling me if the generator is working or not. So I switch it off. I switch it on. Switch it off. Switch it on. Okay, so pretty simple. And that's about it. I'll let you know about further uh, research about this subject and yeah it's pretty amazing actually in Bulgaria this is the first thing uh, doing is the first uh, how to say research in this uh, topic so anyway <laughs> bye bye